Hey, I'm Norm from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, what do I have in my left hand? Uh, it's a uh, stick of gum. No. USB key. No. Um, it's some type of blue bridge thing. Yes. That's exactly what it says. It is a blue bridge. On the device. The label says that. Uh, what this is is a Bluetooth A2DP adapter that you can plug into the auxiliary port on your car. My car doesn't have an auxiliary port. Well, then your car sucks. My car yeah. is awesome. It does have an auxiliary port. So what can you do with it? Uh, so basically, what you do is hook your phone or MP3 player that has A2DP support, like the iPod Touch. Yep. Or uh, iPhone Android. and Android most phones. Android. Pretty much everything has this now. Uh, basically, what that does is lets you pipe high-quality audio mm. across Bluetooth. So you're not using like a low bitrate, terrible GSM codec that's going to sound bad in your ears. Uh, this gets you, lets you get full, awesome-sounding stereo sound. So wirelessly, wirelessly. Let's go check it out. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do now is hook this up to Bluetooth. Oops, wrong button. It's blinking blue. Blinking blue is usually a good sign. This has a battery in, in on board. If you have like a USB adapt power adapter, you can plug a mini USB cable in to keep it charged. Uh, the thing that I didn't like about this is actually that it doesn't have a microphone, so it doesn't work for voice calls as well. Just this for is music. purely for music. So if you don't want to use your line out and plug directly into the aux port, get cables wrapped around here, this is for wireless. Exactly. Um, so it looks pretty small. How long is the battery going to last? I, they're saying five to eight hours. It seems to be pretty standard for this, this category. Yeah, something that I would want to leave plugged in if I'm driving every day. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is I've, I've used some of these things in the past and there's some sometimes ground loop problems where when you have this hooked up, you'll hear a hissing if you have power and audio hooked up at the same time. Didn't notice that so much with this, which was really good. Um, I've done a full charge on it and haven't had any problems so far. So uh, let's play some music, see how it sounds. How about the National? Always pick the National. So again, uh, you can control the audio with both the, 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 you know, the controls on the phone and the volume knob in your car. So you can get crazy loud. Uh, you don't have over amping problems, it seems like, like you sometimes do when you're plugging the headphone out jack into the line in on a, on a car stereo. Uh, sound quality is pretty good. I mean, yeah. especially if you're listening to streaming stuff, I didn't notice any degradation in quality listening to Pandora or audio. Uh, it works with the iPhone as well, so, so uh, you can do that. Uh, it's a pretty pretty neat little device, and it's like 50 bucks, so uh, no complaints here. The button is basically only to power on and off and to um, set up the initial syncing pairing with the Bluetooth thing. The one thing that I don't like about this is it doesn't turn off automatically when you disconnect, so if you forget to turn it off and don't have it plugged into power, you can come out the next morning and the battery will be dead, which would be a bummer. And you don't have to use a slow connector here. No, they, they provide a whole series of cables, so you could use uh, there's an RCA jack if you have like an amp hidden under the dash right. someplace. Like conceivably, this thing you could wire into your into your machine, hide it in the center console under the dash, someplace you never see it again. Someplace you have to give it power, um, and yeah. it'll be good to go. Yeah, I mean the only time you would need to actually physically access it is to sync a new phone. So, works really well. Yes. Kind of a bummer that you can only connect one device to this instead of like four or five, however many. Yeah. I mean, if you and your wife both drive the same car, there is going to be a fight over who is paired with this device at any given time. You could always unpair and repair another. I'm also um, not so hot on the design. It looks kind of small and you have to turn it on and off um, you know, when you're done with it. Well, it comes with cables. You can, theoretically, you could hide this under the dash or in the glove compartment or something so that you don't actually have to run cables to it or turn it off. It just stays on all the time. Uh, I, I wish it had a speakerphone attachment. I would love to be able to use this kind of thing for my phone too. But we have something coming up tomorrow or maybe the next day that Similar. does have a speakerphone. So stay tuned. Don't buy this quite yet. See ya. Bye.